Hello YouTube and people of the interwebs, welcome back to another Doctor Who news video where I am going to be breaking down all of the filming and the filming pictures and the leaks and the news that we have had over the past week. Because if you have been like living under a rock somehow, you may not know that Doctor Who's 60th anniversary written by Russell T Davies, starring David Tennant and Catherine Tate, has been shooting outside on Axminster Road all of this week. Like, it's been, yeah, basically every night, and I think tonight, I believe, to be the final night of filming. So, if there's any more new big cool stuff, you'll be seeing another video tomorrow, or later tonight, depending on what happens and when. So, yeah, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on, to make sure you don't miss out on any breaking or any new Doctor Who news or information, particularly about the new RTD2 era and the 60th anniversary as a whole. Anyway, let's just jump into this video. Also, if I sound slightly different to normal, hay fever is absolutely killing me today, which is lovely, but you know, w w what can you do? It's, it's that time of year, and for some weird reason, I'm allergic to grass. <laughs> anyway, Right, we had this news article come out earlier, and it's got a bunch of, uh, I, I, I want to say HD pictures, they're not HD, but they're shot on an actual camera, which, yeah, makes them better quality than the generic normal Twitter pictures that we can find online, that are always in, like, 180p, like, some really low quality stuff here, but, yeah, we have slightly better images here. Anyway, we'll just run through them relatively quickly. The first up is Donna. Now, yeah, Donna has been seen, I think, most, if not every night of this week on this night shoot, which, yeah, really exciting. We knew Catherine Tate's been coming back. I think it's, it's, it's three weeks. Yeah, I think it's almost a month. Next week, it'll be a month since we found out that David Tennant and Catherine Tate were returning to their roles. We still technically don't know how they're coming back. I mean, we can, we can confirm, basically, this is not them from Series 4 or prior to Series 4. This is definitely taking place after Series 4. Because, obviously, well, Catherine Tate has aged. So has David Tennant. We also see the other members of the Donna Noble family here. But I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. Anyway, yeah, there's our two pictures of Catherine Tate. Then this is one of, I think this has got to have been taken on a phone and the res, like the resolution's been upped in like Rumeni or an app like that. But yeah, here we have David Tennant in his new costume. Now, when I say new costume, the black coat he's wearing over the top of it, that's not his actual Doctor coat. That's just him trying to keep warm on a night shoot. But yeah, from the images we've seen, which are quite a few now, it appears he's got like a long blue trench coat, blue tracksuit, etc. I've made this mock-up image on screen of what it's supposed to look like. We also saw the new sonic screwdriver a few weeks ago, so I've tried to add that in his hand in this mock-up image. But yeah, anyway, our next image is Yasmin Finney playing Rose. So, I mentioned Donna's family, whatever. This is who we presume at current to be Donna's daughter. Now, it's interesting that she's got a box in her hand. Like, what's, what's in the box? We can, like, looking at it, we can barely make it out, but it does appear to be something white, and it could just be the graininess of the footage, but is it white and fluffy? Because, yeah, my immediate assumption is, oh, is it Meep the Beep? Now, for those of you who aren't in the loop or in the know about the filming at the moment, this on screen now is the legend known as Meep the Beep. He is a classic Doctor Who companion. I, I, I say classic. He's from the classic comics. Some of those comics were adapted into audio plays, etc. He's this, like, a lot of people know him in the Hooniverse, and apparently he's in that painting on my wall and I never knew that until the other day. But yeah, Meep the Beep is this somewhat iconic character. He's quite niche, but somewhat iconic character for Doctor Who. And this filming photo from the other day does suggest that he's coming back. Now, that's not the only piece of evidence. We've also seen the Wrath or Wraith or whatever they are, the Wraith Warriors 
on set as well. The Wraith Warriors once again have never actually appeared in live action in the actual show. They've always just been following Meep the Beep around like in the expanded media, the audio adventures, the comics, etc. And yeah, we have a lot of footage of these Wraith Warriors, which is really cool. I'll play some of that footage now so that you can have a little look. But yeah, is Meep the Beep in that box? Because the original Meep the Beep story, which this episode seems to be heavily inspired by, is about this small, cute-looking alien coming to Earth, and then he tricks some children, which could be Donna's kid, Rose, into thinking he's nice and good and friendly. They look after him, but then he turns out to be a genocidal maniac. What if Meep the Beep, like, shacks up at the Donna Noble family house? with Rose, and she's carrying him in that box. Now, as I said earlier, we also saw a bunch of unit soldiers and unit armoured vehicles on set as well, which, yeah, maybe unit are hunting down Meep the Beep, and then get caught in the crossfire when the Wraith, like, the Wraith Warriors show up, maybe Rose is looking after them, etc. I mean, something that adds to this theory is we also have this video footage here of what appears to be David Tennant driving a taxi with Meep the Beep in the back seat. So, yeah, it's looking likely, unless maybe Meep the Beep's holding the Doctor hostage, that Meep the Beep... How many times am I going to say Meep the Beep? That Meep the Beep is, like, an ally at the start, or pretending to be an ally of David Tennant's either 14th or 10th Doctor, whatever version of the Doctor he's playing. So yeah, it's a possibility Meep the Beep is in that box. I don't know though, maybe he's too small to fit in the box. No, too big to fit in the box even. Anyway, here's our next photo. We see Donna and her daughter behind her. Now, Donna looks quite grumpy in these images. I mean, this next image of Donna is a very, very Donna facial expression. Like, I can hear her talking about Neris in this, like, bloody Neris, and all of that typical Donna dialogue. You can see it in her face. It's, oh, it's great. That photo really. It just screams Donna Noble. But yeah, it seems that she's in an argument with her teenage daughter, so that could be quite fun. Now, Donna is also carrying a box. It's a different box to the one that Rose is carrying, as it has, like, Fragile wrapped around it, so maybe Meep the Beep isn't in the box. Maybe they're moving into a house or something. Maybe Rose is, like, moving into uni accommodation or a uni house or something like that, because we know she's relatively young. She might be too young. I mean, there was a casting call ages ago, which we thought was for Doctor Who, in which she, I think, was listed as a 15-year-old. So maybe the nobles are just moving house. There's another wide shot image here of the two of them carrying their boxes. So yeah, maybe they are just moving house. There's a long shot of the street, and there's a big shot of a unit vehicle which we've seen hundreds of soldiers pouring out of. So, yeah, very, very interesting stuff. As I say, we've got Wraith Warriors, Meet the Beep, the Doctor, Donna. We've seen... A, well, there aren't pictures, but from eyewitness accounts, and we have seen them at other filming, we've seen Sean Temple, which is Donna's husband, Sylvia Noble as well at this set. So, if they are moving house or something, maybe Donna and Sylvia... 
well, no, Donna and her husband and her kid are moving out of Sylvia's place, something like that. We've also seen Wilfred Mott in the episode, but apparently Wilfred was not on set. But yeah, all interesting stuff. Let me know your theories in the comments down below. That was just a quick breakdown of a bunch of new images we've got and some video footage. I hope you did enjoy. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. As I say, there's another night shoot coming up tonight, so make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on to make sure you don't miss out on any more news. That does bring us to the end of today's video, though. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.